Hey, what is up, guys? VD Pareto here, and today I'm doing a little something different. Uh, I know you guys have been wanting this for a minute now, and I'm sorry it's so late, uh, but I finally got around to it. Uh, I'm finally doing a kick pad logo tutorial on uh, paint.net. If you guys want to know how to get this software, it's completely free. Uh, the creator actually has a PayPal set up, so you can donate to him if you choose. However, if not, it is completely free. It is completely free still. So yeah, it's a great software. It's a great alternative to Adobe Photoshop. So I really recommend it, especially for anybody who can't afford Adobe. And um, yeah, it has a lot of cool features, especially if you, uh, like me, install so many different, um, what's the word for it? I actually don't know. The, I'm, I'm at a loss for the word now, so I'm just going to continue with the video. So we'll just forget about that, whatever tangent I was about to go on. So yeah, I've decided to tell you guys how I create my kickpad designs in WWE 2K games. More recently, uh, 2K18. Uh, I really found that this particular design seems to work the best on the kickpads in the game. Uh, just my personal preference. Uh, you guys might find it like a different shape works better, but this is what I find to be the best. Here's a couple of examples of uh, what you can make using this software for kickpads. Really, the possibilities are endless really but yeah here you can see the shape right here it's like a kind of like a weird rhombus shape it would actually I think it technically is a rhombus shape or maybe almost a rhombus shape anyway as you can see like the outer line the white is a rhombus shape and inside you have I believe these uh, this logo is for Owen North I wanted the uh, angel wing and uh, this cool design here I have no idea where this picture came from but I just really like it and I really like the design aspect of it I actually use it for my uh, custom championship. All right, here we have a Japanese-inspired one for like a custom superstar who would do a lot of striking, a lot of kicking. Hence the uh, your head here. I thought that it was, I thought it. I don't know. I thought it was all right. I used it for Predator for one attire, I think. Next up, we have the pirate, uh, the El Pierta kick pads. This took actually this took a good minute. It's a lot of layering, which is really what this software is all about. Uh, you can see over here the uh, this button right here, this little square with the green plus on it. Really, all you have to do is just making, just keep making layers, and you can make anything you want in the software. It's a great software, like I said. All right, and last example is the R two D two kick pads. Really, this one was really easy. Just find a picture of R two D two, really a texture picture, larging it up, then delete the sides, and you're all good, and it comes out looking nice and clean. So anyway, we're gonna go and hop into it, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own kickpad design. So right here, you guys are gonna start with your custom rhombus shape. Now this can be any shape you want it to be. Uh, this is the one I choose personally because it fits the best. Uh, I'm not gonna go through how to make the shape. I think that seems kind of obvious. All you gotta do is go over here to lines right here, and uh, yeah, make your lines and uh, do it all the way around and. Uh, then once you have your line you're gonna to want to duplicate the layer and then uh, yeah make it smaller by using this and you'll see these little circles come up at the top of the screen you can use those to smaller their image and uh, that way you can make the shape smaller so you can then fill it with whatever color you choose uh, later on I'm gonna go ahead and deselect this before I fuck anything up but yeah real quick uh, we're gonna add a new layer and uh, by clicking this blue arrow down button we're gonna send that layer below this layer right here and uh, what that's gonna do is alright so now what we're gonna do is click this magic wand right here as you guys can see uh, there's a shortcut key for it uh, S very easy uh, such a useful tool in the software I cannot stress that enough this is like the best tool in the software so what you're gonna do is make sure you clicked on the layer with your shape on it and click in the middle and then you're gonna go back down to this layer, the one that's empty. Click your paint bucket, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in with black uh, because I use a lot of black uh, backgrounds for most of my kick pads. But yeah, as you can see there, now it's filled in. And we're gonna add one, we're gonna add another layer on top of that. And we're gonna go to my uh, documents. We're gonna go. I have actually have a folder set up for this particularly. Actually, you know what? We're gonna wait on that for a second. I'm going to show you guys a couple examples of what you can do. 
So here we have the uh, skulls and the crossbones and stuff. We're going to go ahead and click copy. Go back to our paint.net. And then we're going to click paste. Make sure you're on your new, new layer. I cannot stress that enough. Make sure you're on your new layer. Otherwise, it will delete the layer that you're working on. But don't worry. If it does, all you have to do is click the back arrow button right here. And uh, yeah, you'll be pleased new. I just realized this has like stock photo thing on it. So I'm probably not going to use this kickpad for anything. This is really just an example. Alright, so now that we have it somewhere where we like it at, we're going to go back to the magic wand. Then we're going to go up here. Actually, you know what? We're going to go down here to uh, the filled in black shape. And we're going to click the magic wand and we're going to go right outside right here. And you see how that selects everything except for what we want in the middle of the kick pad. And what you're gonna do, and what you're gonna do is go back to the picture of the design where you, the layer that has the uh, skulls in it, and you're gonna click delete. Uh, and yeah, that's that's what you're left with. You're left with a uh, clean kick pad right there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and make. Uh, I don't like this one, so let's go ahead and make a different one. All right, real quick. So really, this is like. Really, this is really easy. I cannot stress that enough. Anybody can do these. Uh, it's a really good software. Really, really um, easy to make uh, kickpad designs on this. I cannot stress that enough. Uh, let's see if I can find one more design. As you guys can tell, I have so many logos for these 2K games. I uh, I don't do a lot of deleting. This was an idea I had for a Superstar Ultimo Kitty. Uh, don't don't ask. Um, all right, let's go ahead and make those uh, those Fallout kickpads. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to click copy on my background image here. Going to go back to paint.net. And we're going to make a new layer right above the black shape. We're going to paste. Keep canvas size. You want to do that. You don't want your canvas size to get completely out of control. That would not be ideal. And uh, we're going to stretch it to right about here. Really, I want these lines to take up a good portion of the kick pad. Because I really like the way they look. All right, uh, we're gonna black down to the black design. Magic wand again. Click leaves us with all, leaves us with only what we'd want, and go back to our design. Click delete, and uh, there we are. All right, so now we're gonna go on top of that with another layer. Go back to it, and we're gonna copy the Vault 111 logo. Go back to Paint.net, and uh, we're gonna paste. And as you can see right here, hmm, I'm not actually really liking this that much. Maybe we have to small it down a little bit. Size it down, brother. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, we're not going over something really cool here. So, yeah, I'm just going to make these real quick. Come on, get in the middle, you son of a bitch. All right, so as you can see there, we have that right in the middle. Uh, we're gonna go to adjustments because the, as you can tell, the color of that yellow is way off from this bright, very pointing yellow. So we're gonna go to hue and saturations. I'm gonna move that out of the way so I can actually see what I'm doing. And uh, we're gonna go over a little bit. No, other way. Because it's more of an orange yellow, really. That should do it. And go yeah there we go maybe actually turn it down a little bit and uh to decrease a little bit more i think we have it i think that's about as close we're gonna get now this next part you guys won't be able to do because you don't have all the um all the add-ons that i have for paint.net but um if you guys are interested i'll leave a link in the comments below on where to get the add-ons for paint.net once you already have the software and you want to explore more things I can see I have uh, things like bevel object, feather object, and uh, most importantly, outline object, which is so useful. So freaking useful. And we're going to go to that. We're going to give the Vault 111 a nice, big uh, outline. Really make it stand out. And, uh, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and add a... Yeah, I think we're going to add, like, a, uh, a vignette to our background picture. Give a little bit more di more of a dynamic view dynamic view i don't know what i meant by that but yeah we're gonna go ahead and click 
back on the Vault 111 logo. We're going to go over here to the color picker right here. We're going to click right on our brightest spot of yellow. Then we're going to go up to our first layer we created, which was the custom shape, rhombus shape with the white line on, which with the white filling, which we're going to currently change to fit with this kick pad a little bit more. We're going to change it to yellow, make it stand out a little bit more. And uh, yeah, I really actually, actually, I kind of like the way this turned out. It actually came out pretty decently. And um, you know, we're going to go ahead and add a uh, vignette to this as well, because I do like the... Okay, that might been that might be a little too much, a little too much. So we're gonna go. All right. So when you're doing with the radius on a on a vignette, it feels backwards. It does to me anyway. Uh, so yeah, I think that's about what we're gonna do right there. Kind of has like a copper look to it. So yeah. Again, this is a really easy thing to do. Now, uh, once you're done with that, you're gonna click on. Hold up. You click on image you're gonna go to flatten right here this will put all of it down right there it'll click it'll merge all of your layers together so that you can actually save this and uh, we're gonna save as and we're gonna go to make sure you save it as PNG uh, I forgot what that stands for I'm not actually quite sure damn it I can't believe I forgot that but yeah, PNG allows you to have the transparent background that you want. Uh, otherwise, it's going to come out with like a checkerboard background, and that's not exactly what you want for your custom superstar on a 2K. So we're going to go ahead and name these uh, Fallout Kick Pads. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, this is how you do it. And as you see, it gives you a little preview right before you save. So you can make sure that every little detail is correct and exactly the way you want it. And yeah, it saves. You're completely done. Now you just have to go to 2K, um, 2K18, um, the uploader that they have uh, left a link to, I think, in their Twitter feed. Or I have it bookmarked on my uh, web browser so I never forget it because I use it so often. But yeah, all you do now is just go to that, upload your image. And that you can use it in WWE 2K18. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. Again, this is really easy. A very easy to use software. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope this was, um, hope this taught you guys a little bit on how to use it. And um, maybe you guys can come and create your own logos. And if you do, uh, let me know. I'd love to see them. I'd love to see what you guys create. And um, yeah, hopefully we can have another um, custom superstar contest. Because that's what I love about that the most. Is that, um, yeah, I get to see what you guys create and all the ideas that you guys have. So, thank you guys very much for watching. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And I do have another tutorial coming out, um, not so far to this, about how to create custom tattoos. Which I've just been recently doing for El Pierta. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys want to know anything about that, let me know. And I will post a video in the... I will post a video on uh, VD Predator. Also, I have a new channel, Op Eugene. Haven't started uploading to it yet, but it's going to be for gameplay and IRL videos. So thank you guys very much for watching. VD Predator out. See you next time, guys.